We met at the Schoolcraft Fitness Center. So my mom works at Schoolcraft and her aunt works at Schoolcraft with my mom. I was already working there because I'm a year older than her. Caitlin wanted to work at the Child Center, but her aunt decided to send her over to the Fitness Center because I was over there. So they kind of set us up, actually, but that's where we met. Uh, we went to Utah. We stayed in a tiny home. I didn't have a plan at all once we got there. I just carried the ring around with me everywhere we went, hoping that we would run into some type of, you know, romantic situation, uh, which never happened. Me being how I am, I, I waited until, I think it was a half hour before we were supposed to leave for our flight. We went up to this mountain that we were staying near, kind of went through all the photos that we took during this entire trip. And while she was looking, I took the ring out presented it to her and said, I can't wait to keep doing this for the rest of our lives. She was a little upset because I never got down on my knee and asked. <laughs> so I guess it was a little implied, but I did get down on my knee after just to like make it official. But uh, we ended up missing our flight because we just were like hanging out after and yeah, kind of too excited to think straight, I guess. beautiful. Hard to believe it's been eight years. I don't think I can picture my future without you in it anymore. Glad I solidified this outcome by saying I love you in the back of my Ford Focus. I consider myself very lucky to have you. You definitely make me a better person. You've taught me to be kinder and more compassionate, and I also never thought I could trust anyone like I trust you. You know literally everything about me, including a side of me no one else knows. Thank you for being yourself all the time, for being kind, loving, funny, and genuine. I've loved every moment with you and can't wait to spend many more moments together. I love you more than you could ever know, and I can't wait to see you walk down the aisle. You are going to steal everyone's breath away. Sorry if I don't cry. <laughs> love your husband, Spencer. <laughs> God, in the name of your son, Jesus, thank you for sending me such a genuine, loving human to spend the rest of my life with. Thank you for my family and friends and everyone who will be gathered here today to support Spencer and I as we make this sacrament. Thank you for this group of girls standing with me today. Thank you for keeping them in my life no matter how long we go without seeing each other. May they know how much I value their friendships and always will. I pray for health and happiness for all of our loved ones and for a long, happy, healthy marriage for Spencer and I. I love you with my entire mind, body, soul, and spirit. Amen. Amen. Spencer, take you, Caitlin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, to love you and to honor you all the days of my life. Spencer, receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And ladies and gentlemen, it is with great joy that I announce to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Spencer and Caitlin Laird.
younger sister has always been one of the best parts of growing up. If you're lucky like us, a sister is your built-in best friend. Someone you can always count on to love you at the end of every day, no matter what. It always made me worry that whenever Prince Charming came to sweep her off her feet, I would never accept anyone to be good enough for her. And then I met Spencer, and he was so kind and respectful to my family since day one. His presence alone just makes you happy to be around him. And now I can't imagine trusting my sister's heart with anyone else besides him. I'm so grateful God brought you into our lives, Spencer. Caitlin and Spencer bring out the best in each other. They're always making each other laugh and having fun together. Their positive and loving energy is contagious when you're around them. It's an honor to stand here today as your maid of honor. I love you both very much. I wish you both a lifetime of love, laughter, and happiness. And in the words of Hannah Montana, life's what you make it, so let's make it rock. Say hello. Hello. One, Say hello. Two, Say hello. Three. Congrats.